Hello and welcome to Taik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the peak voice problem when it comes to change in the year 2020, 21 or 2019 to 2020. We will discuss about this in this video how we can solve this issue to get a continuous weak voice report in Power BI. Stay tuned for that. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is my Power BI file. In this I have this sales transactions week wise starting from 1st of December 2019 to 31st of Jan 2020. In this as you can see here on the top I get these week numbers like this and these are the sales value here. Actually it is showing from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that is uh, January month of 2020 and here it is showing it as December. But actually I need this something like this. Week 48 starts on December. So December, 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 December and December and then January here. So like this I need. But in order to achieve this we need to do some workarounds here. So even though if you click here and go to this visualization pane and in the format in the x-axis here the type it shows continuous instead of that if you select categorical then it will display the only the data which is available over there but even though this is not correct format the sorting order is not correct now we have got this one first we will do how we can achieve this and later on we will move to remove the years here and just show only the week numbers now let's go to data tab here. Here I have added a calendar table. It's calendar starting from 2017th January 1st and then ends on 2021 31st of January. After that I have used this add columns here, add is year. So I just got this date and then the year column here. And after that I need the month and year. So I added the format tags here. So format the date is the column from here and I need this in month and year format and the next is year week what I've done here if the week number which starts from Monday that is for 2 is equal to 53 then add one year and then make it as 0 2 I don't want to show it as week 53 I want to show it as the next year the first week I made a video about the week 53 and week 0 1 how you can convert this data to that week if you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Now coming back here, after that I am adding it as the year to the, so the final result will come up here like this, 2018, 20 is a week number, 2018 is a year, but like the same it will go down here. So if the value is less than 10, I want it to add a zero before to that. So that's only I'm using it here, year, date, and if the week number, is less than 9 I'm going to add 0 and then I'm going to add the week number or else it will just give me the week numbers here for 15 and all we don't need the 0 here because it's 2 digits already whereas if it is less than 9 for example this one 0 5 0 6 etc right so I'm adding an additional 0 before to 5 6 here that's it and then I'm creating a new table the week year here I'm adding the same thing the, the week is 53 added to 01 and then here after that year the difference between these two is I'm just using the year and then the week whereas here I'm using the week and then the year and finally I'm just using it just the week numbers here in the week column now if you click here and in the column tools go to the sort by column and then look at here it is by year week now I'm just clicking it here if I go here and sort by week year it is just the same column name let's go to this visuals as you can see here this one the first comes here 0 01 0 02 0 03 in alphabetic alphanumeric order here but actually I don't need this way I need only in exact correct format so that's the reason here I have added the year and week so when the year and week comes here then automatically it's going to sort this one so I'm clicking it here 
and then sort by year v column now let's go to the visuals again i have not made any changes here it's just sort by column and look at the values it is perfectly aligned from december 1st to end of january the next year so now i will show you one thing so this is a general week right so if i click here because i just need the week number not the year as well so i'm clicking it here and then go by sort by column and i want to make it year weeks if i click here it will throw an error here we cannot sort the week column by year week there can't be more than one value in year week for the same value in week please choose a different column for sorting or update the data in year week so what does it mean is i will show you here if we take an example of this this is a week right so it comes here 202001 now if i sort this one i mean if i filter the week one alone here the week one everything is here but whereas the week year the year week is changed 2012 2021 01 and then 2019 2020 2018 so there are many records is there right so actually power bi wants if you are going to sort one column by another column the both of them must have unique values according to their rows here you might think why this column sorted without any issues right is because if you look at these two columns the year week and then the week year it is 2021 is 01 2021 now it's 2020 is 01 2020 is 2019 01 01 2019 2018 01 and 01 2018 so each and every value which has a row by row is not duplicates is not doesn't have more than one value like this column so that's why it's not able to sort now actually my requirement is i want to show only the week number here here i just want to show only the week number not the year because generally if i am going to show the last 8 weeks of the data and i am in january so by default it has to show starting from december or november so anyway user is going to aware that it is from the previous week so i don't need to unnecessarily show the year here in that case we have a small work around on that so let's do that i am going to same column here the week year and then i am going to add this is the column right i'm going to add a small another dax here so left of i'm just using the left of everything here comma two digit close the bracket so what i'm taking it here from this column week year i'm just taking the left two digit here first of all i have done week and year and then i sort this column by year week and now i am removing this to show only the left of two characters so now come it here so now it has only one here only the week numbers if i select this column sort by column it is showing it by year and week even though this is week year and it has a repeated values but still it is sorting by year week this is really strange right but even i even don't know that how this pop up works in the background now let's have a look at the visuals cool now it has only the week numbers and it is clearly sorted based on the dates what we have selected here this is really cool right to be frank even i don't know how this actually works in the background in power bi now let me show you one thing as i have filtered only for the one year here now i am going to clear this slicer just to have a liquid uh, values here now as you can see it here this is something different which is not really helpful if you use just the week number now whereas if you look at here the bottom is week year it is clearly sorting 1 2 3 like this and then it is going until the week 52 and after that it is going again for week 01 if you go here so it means this is for the year of 2021 and this is for 2020 and after that it is for 2019 this example really helpful if you are looking at the last 6 weeks last 8 weeks or last 18 weeks of the data in power bi and if you want to carry forward this value from the last year to this year 
in a sequence order not like that that you will get the 1 2 3 4 on the front and 48 49 50 on the back side of this report that's not easily understandable for the end user so by doing these simple steps you can clearly make the report easily understandable to the end users i believe this video will be helpful for your real world applications if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices and if you're not a member of the thai care just be sure to hit the join button to become a member of thai share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video